Unfortunately, most people in this world clock in, clock out, go home, and hit the repeat button. Life is what you make of it and sometimes, the tiny moments are what truly make for a fulfilled life. No matter what job you have, it's always important to find a way to enjoy it. Blue-collar jobs including manufacturing, mining, sanitation, custodial work, oil field work, construction, mechanic, maintenance, warehousing, firefighting, and technical installation often go unappreciated, especially jobs such as garbage men. People tend to tip their hats to firemen, understandably, because what they do is heroic. Unfortunately, most people wouldn't expect other blue-collar jobs to touch people's lives the way some of the more heroic fields do. Many people don't realize the heart they put into their jobs and their lives. In recent news, a couple of garbage collectors made headlines for what they have done, leaving people absolutely shocked. They were overwhelmed by the reactions they received. Money.usanews.com described the garbage man career as, it is a hallmark of modern times that instead of dumping our garbage wherever we see fit and spreading disease, we have garbage collectors pick up the trash and take it away from towns and cities to more remote waste management facilities. Garbage collectors fall into two categories, the driver of the garbage truck and the helper or ground man, who picks up the garbage cans and recyclables. The job can be physically demanding for helpers, since they pick up many cans of garbage each day in rain, snow, sleet, and the summer heat. Garbage collectors also have to keep records of their garbage pickups, use hand signals to communicate with the helper or driver, and walk a great deal in neighborhoods where residences are close together. The Evensons made a conscious decision to confront their garbage man after a year-long occurrence with their young children. Although they were glad they did, they never could have expected the outcome of it all. This story showed a shocking truth behind two loyal garbage men. As it spread throughout the internet, it shocked the world. Aaron and Angie Evenson are wonderful parents of four that are extremely passionate about their family. They have one son and three daughters that light up their life. This is why their story shocked so many people when it surfaced. No one could believe the devastating truth about this family. Evenson's little girls have created a tradition with the garbage men to always wave from the window and exchange smiles. For some reason, the girls have always been intrigued by these friendly garbage men and their exciting presence. Unfortunately, these men would soon realize the truth about this family. The Evensons' garbage men, Brandon and Taylor, had stated that their short interaction with the girls was always the highlight of their day. They absolutely love waiting back at the girls and seeing their bright shining smiles. As joyful as it all was, the weekly visits had to tragically come to an end. After about a year, Angie Evenson had something to say about the tradition between her daughters and their garbage men. With a chilling secret, she decided she needed to speak her mind and confront these men. When she handed them a note, they were absolutely shocked. After this, nothing was the same. When the men received this note from Angie, they went straight to their boss. What it said was extremely devastating and they took it upon themselves to report it and take care of the situation. Even their boss was taken back by the note, so they proceeded to take action. The note that Evenson had written said, We may miss you some Thursdays upcoming. Our three-year-old girl was diagnosed with cancer and has chemo on Thursdays. This was overwhelming to hear as they had developed such a genuine bond with these girls over time. No one could have expected how they reacted to this news. It was clear that this was a courtesy note. Over time, Evenson saw the true bond between her daughters and their friendly garbage men. It was the highlight of everyone's Thursdays. Because of this, she felt obligated to make her daughter's friends aware of the situation. She never imagined what these men would do next. Angie said that she decided to give Brandon and Taylor this note because she couldn't help but worry how they would feel about the absence of the family on Thursdays. She saw the light and the happiness created during their interactions and decided to prepare them for the changes ahead. Rose is Aaron and Angie's three-year-old daughter. Rose was tragically diagnosed with cancer. Sadly, the cancer was stage four, which is unfortunately a lot less hopeful than earlier stages. It goes without saying that this was extremely tragic for the whole family. Just when they thought their lives were crazy enough, they realized they were in for a shocking surprise. 
Sadly, Rose's cancer spread to her lungs. This resulted in an exhausting amount of time at the hospital for treatments. No one should have to go through what this poor girl did, especially at three years old, and no mother should have to watch her child go through it. After Brandon and Taylor found out about this awful situation, they took matters into their own hands. They felt the need to help in any way that they could, even if it wasn't much. When they brought the news to the attention of their boss, they were shocked at the way he responded. At this point, Brandon and Taylor were invested in the happiness of these children. Now that they wouldn't be seeing them weekly, they knew they could not contribute to that anymore. Although they had only shared a bond through the window, they felt very emotional about the news that they received. Everyone was shocked with their boss's response to it all. When Angie shared the news to these men, she wasn't sure how they would take it. While she clearly had good intentions, sometimes people can take things the wrong way. She accepted the risk of odd reactions. Maybe they would assume she was looking for sympathy, handouts, or even wonder why she felt the need to share. To her delight, Angie received a letter from the company she contacted. It read, We just wanted to take a second to send our best wishes as you go through this difficult time. Our teammates, Brandon and Taylor, filled us in on the situation and shared the very kind note that you left for them. We are so proud that their gestures gave you a reason to smile recently. The letter continued to say, Please accept our gift of free garbage service for you through the end of 2017. We know that expenses will add up as you make trips for this needed treatment and hope that not having this one bill to deal with helps, even if just a little, with all the heartbreak, there was good news to come for everyone. Aaron and Angie were extremely touched by this incredible gesture. They were only a few weeks into knowing about their daughter's diagnosis, and this really helped lift their spirits. Having so much to worry about, this small beam of light really kept them going. But the kindness didn't stop there. Even after the incredible kindness from these men, they continued to deliver their genuine care. Shortly after this tragic, yet beautiful, situation occurred, Brandon and Taylor visited the family with gifts on Christmas. The girls were overwhelmingly excited to see their old friends again, and the feeling was mutual. When Brandon and Taylor do see their little friends, they make up for lost time with extra bonding and gifts. Angie and Aaron love the entire situation between their girls and the garbage men, and everyone else does too. It was sad that they didn't see each other as much as they used to, but the future was bright for them. In November of 2017, it was announced that Rose was cancer-free. The weekly trips from the garbage men are still something the household looks forward to, but the health of their family is what the Evensons are truly grateful for.